We are over halfway through our Gospel of John reading challenge. If you haven't yet read John, I encourage you to do so in the next few weeks. But maybe instead of reading it, give it a listen. And here's why. Jesus taught in an oral culture. He taught for the ear to listen, not for the eye to read. John, with the help of the Holy Spirit, recorded Jesus' life and teaching. For about 1,500 years, the words of Scripture were read aloud for people to learn, and you could only hear them when you went to church. In 1440, this guy, Johannes Gutenberg, invented the printing press. 77 years later, this guy, Martin Luther, caused a reformation in the Roman Catholic Church that led to people wanting the Bible printed for themselves. Fast forward to now, and we largely think about reading the Bible and no longer hearing the word. But another inventor gave us the smartphone, which gave this guy, Bobby Grinwald, the idea for a Bible app. So now, wherever we are, we can listen to the word on our smartphone, made accessible through a reformation and the printing press, as recorded by John, with the help of the Holy Spirit, the works and words of Jesus. I invite you to listen. Listen while you drive, listen while you knit, listen while you make dinner, listen while you do a puzzle. Just listen. If you get distracted or miss something, that's fine. Our minds are prone to wandering. Just bring your attention back to the story. May the Holy Spirit give us ears to hear.